Hello and welcome to a review for what was Tuesday the 14th of March 2017's trading. As you can see on the right here, did scratch on the day or made a tiny bit of profit before commission, down $2.08 after commissions on one, two, three, four uh, trades. Is that? Is that four trades? One, two, three trades. Three round trips of two contracts each side, so three fours, 12, yeah, three trades, $2.08 down. As you can see, there are no currently there are no CL trades here so I can tick the box on CL that I didn't trade that and I can tick the box on the YM trading because I didn't do step outside of the plan so let's quickly run through what happened today so, sorry I apologize if I can't share uh, I would love to be able to share the exact reasoning behind my trades if it were my own system I would do so but as this is something that I've um, taken from a well-known vendor, as I said, coldmarkets.com, I just obviously don't feel comfortable with sharing uh, um, all the details of the methods. So I've removed some of the aspects of the chart that I would use, some of the indicators, opened up a fresh chart and shared what I can share with you. So here we got into the first trade here at 799 just a sec that was my son screaming like a little gorilla again so um yeah we had um 799 long that went 13 cents or ticks so 1.3 let's just call 10 ticks a point i think that's what you call it anyway on the ym so it went 1.3 points in favor not enough for me to do anything with that except break even and I broke even and got out with a tick of positive slippage. Then we had another long that stopped for a point so now I'm down one point. And then it was a very frustrating day because we nearly got a long signal in the same area here but just missed it and that would have finished the day with target within five minutes. And then uh, <laughs> I'm out of breath from running up the stairs. Then we shorted here and had this um, looking at the five minute road roadmap and what it was doing at combined with the patterns profit objectives which are here and here. Um, I knew that it could stop, that this would be the line in the sand. So when it got to 63, I trailed to 70, <laughs> Jesus. I trailed to 72. Um, or 72, 83, I think it got me with, uh, yeah, it got me with one tick positive slippage on the exit as well. So it probably would have been, um, <laughs> it would have been, um, let me just wait for him to calm down. <laughs> okay, so, um, so I got 83 short here, and that went to 63, and then I trailed to what should have been 73 and that ended up being 72 so 11 1.1 here zero there point um i mean point one in favor here which should have been zero and then minus um one for a total of uh point two in favor which after commissions on the three round turns ends up being just scratch or two dollars eight cents down so that was today. If I had um, got in the third and final trade, it would have been um, a one point uh, win because I had some, I would have gone long again up here at this level um, and this same level, horizontal level here. And when the, the, the strategy is very simple for entries, and that's what I need because it's the entries that I suffer with because that is where I have the most responsibility or the most weight for my personality. Getting into a trade is my, as I think I've mentioned on a past video, that's where I struggle. Managing the trade, I'm much better at exits once I'm committed to the trade. So this system just basically commits me to getting in in certain places. And then I have the responsibility of managing that trade out. And if I was long from this level again, when it made... Let me just get the pen here a second. 
when it made the um, the higher high here. This was the logic. It went up here, topped out here. When it went up on slower pace and just took out that high, which is in uh, I can't remember who made up this um, pattern or who popularized this pattern, but a 2T, 2B and 2T, 2 top and 2B for 2 bottom. It took it out by a tick, got in the longs who were looking at highs as a way to get in, trapped them, and then sold off back down here, eventually coming back down to this zone of action. So when I saw the 2T here coupled with, I had another Fib level here, which I've, I've since taken off, the two scenarios would have had me trail to plus one point and today would have ended up 1.2 rather than 0.2 but I had, I had had enough at this point we'd been here since 2.30 and at this point it was 4.30 so two hours is enough the tally today is 0.2 with two hours of quote end quote work so that's all I've got for you today. Like this video if you like this kind of update. And I'm hoping that the days to come will do what they've done in the past and garner a little bit of profit. I don't need any more than five points a week. And five points a week would be, um, let's have a look, five points a week would be 250 on the YM, which isn't a great deal. I, I would take, quite frankly, I would take less. Three to five points average a week. Um, let's go worst case scenario. If you could only manage three points a week, trade in a one point stop repetitively in these opening, the, the opening of the market from 3.30 or 9.30 Eastern till midday Eastern. If you could only manage three points, three fifths, times 50 is 150 and that's per week there are 4.345238812 and I've checked 4.345238812 weeks in a in the average month that gives you $651.78.79 per month which isn't bad as a second income and now all you have to do is add size two contracts gets you that four contracts gets you that eight and this market can take the eight gets you five grand and that would be more than enough for most people I'm sure regardless of where you live in the world to earn and probably support your family definitely a single person would do more than fine on that amount of money in any Western country in the world and that's eight contract trading as far as I'm aware the YM can take easily take ten and can potentially in the most liquid times take up to 20 so that's 8 let's just for fun we'll just see what 20 would give if you build up enough consistency to 20 you would make 13,000 a month so that's sort of like the long distance end goal but quite frankly all I'm looking for is a bit of consistency and repetition over time so although it's a break even day today I'm happy because I stuck to my rules let's see what tomorrow brings so i'll be back here with another video then take care and see you tomorrow